Let's talk for a second about the Crossfire. Yes, the Crossfire, or actually the CRSF protocol that is part of that was designed by the Team Black Sheep and then used in the Crossfire. Then uh, it was used also in the Tracer and finally was adopted as the protocol used by the Express LRS. Do you know what's the problem with the CRSF protocol used to connect receivers to the flight controllers? I'll give you a moment. The legal status of the CRSF protocol is well interesting. CRSF was uh, developed by the TBS and uh, officially it was never really published and open to the community. That means that it creates an interesting legal precedence because in theory, um, TBS never allowed anyone officially to use the CRSF protocol. However, everyone are using the CRSF protocol. And also because the TBS also kind of backed out from, from this whole, whole thing, making any changes to the cross CRSF protocol used by the Crossfire and Express LRS kind of hard. If the CRSF protocol does not support some kind of the function. For example, it's not able to send one kind of the telemetry. If you are an Express LRS developer, you cannot really just extend this protocol by yourself because if you do it, you automatically break the compatibility with uh, everything else that is running Crossfire hardware. And the Crossfire is still kind of popular radio, right? Not everyone migrated to the Express LRS because why they should. So how to live with that? You kind of can ask Crossfire, hey, can we extend the protocol to this uh, function? They might say it yes, they might say it no, and they might just not give an answer. Also the name, CRSF is kind of tightly connected with the brand of the Crossfire and uh, if you want to change it, to change the function of the CRSF protocol, can you really even use the CRSF name? So that's, that's a pretty, pretty interesting uh, stuff. Now, it's changing, at least to some extent. Um, there is an initiative of the Express LRS developers to make the CRSF or rather the next generation of the CRSF uh, protocol slightly more open, openly defined and open for everyone to know how it's working and to, to help is that. Um, there is uh, something called the CRSF WG, which goes for working group. I was uh, invited to this uh, working group as the representative of the of the INAV by the Express LRS developers. It's in the very early stages right now, uh, but it's there in the in the GitHub repository. Uh, there's a link over here. If you can, if you want to, you can go there and uh, see how the work on the standardizing and making the public uh, work uh, look like. And there's even an issue created by me in the in the repository. And the, and the general goal and the possible outcome is that to kind of separate uh, the Express LRS uh, implementation of the CRSF protocol from what the uh, TBS is using. And TBS created and was using with the Crossfire. And to solve this problem of the high dependency on the never really published protocol. How this thing will turn out, how the CRSF protocol will evolve and will in the future the Express LRS use a completely different protocol instead of CRSF to communicate with our flight controllers is at the moment unknown. We don't know yet. Uh, but uh, I think it's something that uh, people who are uh, interested in how the protocols uh, are evolving should uh, take a look at because it might be a nice lesson. And let's hope that the TBS will be kind of open in the in the process and uh, maybe they will just officially release the protocol to the public. That would be kind of nice, uh, I think.